Good morning, Taylor. How are you feeling today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, we're actually going to start you on a new medication to help control your petite mal or absentee seizures. Okay. Um, it's called ethosuximide. Okay. That's the generic name. I actually have a pamphlet for you right okay. here with all the information that you need to know. Um, so you can see on your paper that the brand name drug that we're giving you is Neurontin. Mm -hmm. Um, after talking with the provider and getting some of your past medical history and your um, no, knowing your known drug allergies, uh, we decided that this drug would be the best for your um, situation. Mm -hmm. My hopefully, condition. Yeah, you wouldn't see any, um, or we hopefully won't see any allergic reactions or stuff like that with the drug that we chose. Um, but I can go over all the information on this page for you. We're going to start you on it today in the hospital. So while you're still here with us, you'll be taking it, but um, we're gonna have you continue it when you go home okay. each day. So hopefully when you leave the hospital and you're not in the setting anymore, you still will be free from your petite mal absentee seizures. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> so how does this drug work? So it essentially inhibits the brain activity that you have going on when you have a seizure. So um, for the technical terms on the page, it just depresses the nerve transmission in the motor cortex, mm -hmm. um, and it increases the uh, stimuli threshold that is required in your brain to cause a seizure. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, it's just going to stop my brain from overreacting. Yes, and it okay. would make it harder for you to have a seizure. OK. And so how am I taking this medication? So we're going to give you um, tablets to take orally. Uh, there's also the option for um, syrup if you want to do that. If it's easier for you to take syrup than to swallow pills, then mm -hmm. you can talk to the provider and the pharmacist about that too. Okay. I'll definitely take the capsule. Yeah. I think they're easier to measure out the mm -hmm. doses. Um, so each capsule has 250 milligrams, and you're going to start taking 500 milligrams per day. Mm -hmm. um, with the instruction labels in the sheet, you can increase your dose um, with uh, at increments of 250 milligrams okay. if you feel like you need to. If you're kind of unsure of what to do, you feel like it might not be helping or you want to increase the dose, you can always call us back and get our opinion on what you should do or talk to the provider directly and have him explain how to increase the doses. Um, but it's very important that you don't exceed 1,500 milligrams okay. a day. And it says something about alcohol. Should, it, should I, am I allowed to drink? Am so I allowed to smoke? You should try to avoid consuming alcohol and marijuana okay. and um, a few other drugs listed on the page while you take this medication. Mm -hmm. um, and then also near where you were talking about, it specifies not to drive unless you know how the drug affects you. Okay. Um, I Typically, seizure patients need to wait about six months until they can drive. They have to be seizure-free for six months. Okay. So um, you definitely don't want to be driving, consuming alcohol um, while you're on this medication and you don't know how it affects you. So that's something we can also talk to the provider more about. As long as you're in the hospital, that's not really going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. But, but when I get out. Exactly. So are you going to have someone to yes. drive you around for the next My fiancé, he can drive me around. Perfect. And okay. so what are some of the side effects of this medication? So some of the common side effects are drowsiness, um, headache, some GI upset, which is why we suggest you take the medication with food. Um, specifically milk helps mm -hmm. people a lot. Um, and then there's also, if you have loss of appetite, loss of coordination, dizziness, anything like that. Those okay. are common side effects. Um, and then so what are these five. things... Suicidal thoughts and allergic reactions, what are these? Yep, so those are some adverse effects. Um, they're something that are not desired and don't typically happen as often as side effects, but okay. if any of that comes up, you definitely want to let us know. Mm -hmm. um, so what are the other ones? So all of the adverse effects. So under adverse effects, we have ataxia, which is just um, the loss of full control of the movements of your body. Okay. Um, again, adverse effects tend to be more uncommon than side effects. Mm -hmm. um, and they are a little bit more intense mm -hmm. as well. Um, and then just any allergic reactions, blurred vision. Um, 
are listed here is psychosis, which is just disconnected disconnection from reality. Mm -hmm. um, again, seizure. Okay. So, <laughs> um, and then one that you may not have heard of is Stevens Johnson syndrome. Just if your skin starts, if you get a rash, you would want to let us know. Mm -hmm. That may indicate Steven Johnson's, which is just when your skin kind of peels off. It, like, sloughs off. Okay. So if you notice any rashes right away, let us know so we can mm -hmm. take you off of the medication and find something else that works better for you. And then what's hirsutism? So that is just um, when you have abnormal hair growth. So if you, for women, it commonly comes up on their face. Okay. So I should just tell you if I see any signs of any of these things. Yes, absolutely. And then we'll find a better fit for you. And then what are you going to do while I'm here still in the hospital to make sure that these things aren't happening or if they do, to fix them? Yep. So if you were to have another seizure, we're just going to assess your seizure activity, um, see how long it lasts, what kind of seizure it is, all of that stuff. Again, we don't expect you to have a seizure on this medication. The goal is that you won't have a seizure. Mm -hmm. um, but again, we're just going to assess your psychological behaviors, um, see if your mood changes or anything like that. Um, kind of pay attention to how you're feeling internally. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also want to look for rashes, like yeah. I said, for the Stevens-Johnson. Um, and then there's a list of tests that we'll run. Mm -hmm. So we'll monitor your CBCs, which is your complete blood count. Okay. And then where it says ALT and AST, um, we'll run tests for those as well, which would just indicate your liver function. Okay. So that might also indicate whether the drug is toxic to you, if the dose needs to change or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, and then we would also test your drug serum levels to monitor toxicity or overdose relating to the drug okay. that you're taking. And then so what happens if I miss a dose or something like that? So if you miss a dose and it's not too close to the next dose that you're due for, you can mm -hmm. just take it right then. Okay. Take it as soon as you realize that you missed it. If it's close to the second dose, then you just want to skip that dose. You okay. don't want a double dose. And then I should definitely keep up with this, make sure I take all the right doses the right, at the right times. Yep. So if you feel like it's not working for you, um, don't just stop the medication. Give us a call and we can get you in contact with the provider. Mm -hmm. um, it's just important that you stay consistent with the medication so mm -hmm. you have optimal um, results and you stay seizure free, all of that. So it's important that you don't just skip doses yeah. or double dose um, or just end the medication because you feel like it's not. And then can right. I store this in my bathroom? No. So no. when you take it, you take it with food, so it might be helpful to keep it in the kitchen. Okay. Um, it needs to stay in a room temperature, moisture-free area. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people store medications in the bathroom, but it actually is more beneficial to keep it in a dry place. Okay. So. And then keep what it happens there. if it expires or <laughs> if I run out? Well, obviously I'd get a new one, new prescription. Yep. And absolutely. then what happens when I'm done if I have extras? So if you have extras, there are specific instructions. You can always just take it to your pharmacy mm -hmm. if you have extra. Um, we hope to keep you on this drug for a while, so mm -hmm. you will hopefully be getting refills from us mm -hmm. um, through your pharmacy. But if it's expired or anything like that, do not take it. Okay. Call us. We'll figure it out, and we'll talk to the pharmacy or call the pharmacy, and we'll get a new prescription for you. But okay. definitely just... As a precaution for all drugs that you take, check the expiration date first. And then me and my fiancé have been thinking about getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. So what happens if we decide that that's the next step? Okay. So it is the pregnancy category C. Okay. Um, which just kind of means that there is potential risk. So preg pregnancy category C means that there have been animal studies done that show potential risk to the fetus but there have not been any human studies that can back up any any evidence. Okay. Um, so that's something if you want to talk to the provider more about weighing that potential risk to benefit, you definitely can, and I can 
have the provider come in and kind of talk to you more about that. But um, it is important to know that there is um, some risk to becoming pregnant while you're on this medication. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Do you have any more questions? No. <laughs> you think you're all set? Yes. Okay. So if anything comes up, feel free to call me back in the room. Mm -hmm. Call the provider when you go home. Um, it's a good thing that you're here for a few more days so mm -hmm. we can kind of see how the drug interacts with you mm -hmm. before we send you home. But if you're home and you have a question that you can't think of right now, always feel free to call us. Okay. All right. Thank you. No problem. I'll be back later.